happiness. Your team gave so much today, and to lose it late, heartbreaking, isn't it? Yeah, it was. It was disappointing, really. Um, listen, I can't, I can't argue with the team. Yeah, the team's performance was absolutely fantastic. Um, we looked tired. You know, Baba's guy looked tired. Junior doesn't do his job on the end. And, you know, losing the game that, uh, you know, to fair, we was well in it. Um, but I've said to my lads in there that I'm really proud of you. you know I mean, this is going to be the best team in the league, supposedly. Um, and you can hear him in the change room celebrating like they won the FA Cup. Um, so, it's hard to speak because I just feel so gutted for the players, you know what I mean? I thought they, you know, they were immense today, absolutely immense. And what I will say is that the referee was an absolute disgrace. I don't care what they do. I've just looked, we've had two blatant penalties. One, on, one from Brownhill um, when it's 1-0. Uh, and a blatant one on Thomas when it, in the 92nd minute. And he's in a great position. The lines was here, you can see it. And you know what? And I'll tell you this now and I'm going to say it. I spoke to you guys and I spoke to Kevin Fenn last week and I said referees have to have the balls to make the right decisions. I don't care what time of the game it is. They've got to get it right. And at 92nd minute we've got a blatant penalty and he turns away from it. And it ain't, I'm not going to swear, but it ain't a full lot swearing. It ain't good enough. All right? The ref was an absolutely joke. No, no, that's where it hurts you so badly because at that point I've sent you two one up potentially, you know, in the in yeah. deep, and, and, and they go down the other end, and that's what it's hinged on today. Of course, it has. It's all co co hinged on a diabolical decision from the referee where he hasn't got balls to make the decision. 92nd minute, we win to get two one up. If you scored a pen, they got to have a pinch and score. And, and, and I'm just saying to myself, it baffles me, and I'm sick and tired of these referees saying, oh, I couldn't see it, I was in the wrong angle. I've looked at it again, you're in the right angle. The line was on this side of the pitch. You can see it, there's no diversion of the ball. Matt's didn't even get the ball. So just do the right thing. Stop trying to, you know, not to do the word cheap, but stop, stop trying to take things away from my players. Because that performance today was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We go back down the right way feeling like cheated. And then we've got something out of the game. That's what I mean, because you, you can't believe you're going home empty-handed. You know, you put so much effort in, you know, he comes to this and you just want to be fair, basically, don't you? You do, yeah. That's, and the lads are devastated in there. You know, lads are devastated. You talk about a Burnley team with people say the best team in the league. We've come here, and listen, they are a good side and they play some good football, and rightly so. But I just thought, you know, we were just strong in every department. Our tactics were right, you know what I mean? I thought everything was just right. And, you know, you just think to be let down by the officials when it actually really mattered. They need to be looked at, they need to be made accountable. And I'm interested to see now what these referees are going to say after watching that. But the thing, it doesn't matter, Rich, because we've got beat 2-1, we've lost three points on the basis of people like that who are not clever enough, they've got enough quality to make the right decisions at the right time. Obviously, you'll have to pick the bones out of the game, and I'm sure it's going to take a little while for this to, to sort of settle down, if you like, but you'll be able to look at the game and pick out so many positives to take forward, though, and I know it's not the points you want, but, you know, if the performances are there, you know, long term, that's, it will be a good thing, won't it? Listen, it will be. Listen, and listen, you've got to remember, you know, you've got a lot of people that, are, you know, we're trying to play every game. Babbage has come back, he's looking tired, so he lets Benson run inside for the first time. You know, Junior's got to do his job at the far post, he loses the game 2 1. But apart from that, I've got to listen, you've got to minimise mistakes against these teams. And we've done that. You know, I mean, on the back of that, you still want the right decisions to go for us. But up front, Yak, Thomas, great finish. Thomas was absolutely sensational. Absolutely sensational. Um, and then the defence, Tom Holmes, did, you know, the captain's performance. But listen, I look at it, I'm positive because the performances were great. I'm disappointed because the referee was diabolical. So you long trip down the motorway, as you said, and dust yourselves down, get a bit of rest in the legs, count the bodies and go to Luton, really? Yeah, and that's the tough one. That's, that's what makes it tough. You know, and, um, but listen, it, I hate saying it is what it is because it should be the case it's what it is. Because referees have to be better. And so the AR referees on some of the side. Um, but this we go again. We've got aching bodies, people are tired. Mama's out now, so it's just fifth booking, which is not great. Um, but listen, we've got to be proud of the performance. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be negative, but I can't. I'm just negative about the, the referee that we've got today. Last we've got to touch on Luton. You know, we went there last season, you know, what they can be like, the kind yeah. of team they are, the way they play football, the, the atmosphere they create. So, yeah, under the floodlights, that'll be a really good test. And, you know, I'm sure the boys will stand up to it again. Listen, it's again, but you're actually the same bodies. It goes to the world all the time. You saw Baba start to tire. 
you know, moment where crime, Emma do a crime. So that's the realisation of what we are, you know, especially in the middle of the park. You know, it's the same players that keep going every day, you know, every game. You know, and, it, and it's tough for them, but they don't, they don't stop for me. They, one thing they do, they give me their all. And I, I feel gutted for the players, I really, really do. They deserve something out of the game, it wasn't for the pox in the room.